this video I will explain you vector multiplication. What are different uh, kinds of vector multiplications are there? So those uh, different uh, kinds I will explain you in detail. So vector multiplication given the first one that is a uh, simple multiplication. Second given a uh, scalar or dot and the third one given the vector or cross multiplication or that is known as cross product also. Okay, so one by one I will explain you these all three kinds of multiplication of factors. So now the first one given the simple uh, product. So what happens in simple product? Okay, so one by one I will explain you. So now first one it is simple. Okay, so first one it is simple product. In case of simple product, a vector is multiplied by a scalar. Okay, if you multiply a vector by a scalar, then that kind of product it is known as simple product. For example, uh, if we have a vector A, and uh, that we can uh, represent by A cap A, where uh, A cap is uh, denoting the unit vector, and uh, A capital A is representing uh, the magnitude of vector A, Okay, so this is a vector, and uh, if we multiply this vector by any uh, scalar, okay, so a scalar may be anything. So here uh, we can represent that as scalar. So by k. So here I'm representing the scalar that k. So if we multiply the another vector b, which is going to be the product of that scalar. So k is the scalar with uh, a vector then now uh, this is it means you can say b vector or vector b is the product of scalar k and the vector a okay and if you want to further go into the details then what you can do here so you can um, denote this one by using uh, a cap and then after k and then a because k and a are uh, here this one is scalar because that is representing the magnitude and uh, E cap is representing the direction. Okay, so K that is the magnitude. And if we convert this one into a uh, component form, then we can write that in this way. So, what we can write on here? So, the first thing which we can do so along the x axis, so along the x axis it will be x cap then after k a then along y axis what it will be then along y axis you can write down y cap and then after k a and in the same way we can uh, represent along uh, z axis so here you can write uh, z cap and then after k and uh, a and one more thing here a z subscript don't forget to write because that subscript uh, it tells that uh, whether that component it is uh, along x-axis, along y-axis or along z-axis, okay? So that's why a uh, denoting of subscript is very important. So this is uh, vector B which is the product of uh, scalar and the vector, okay? So this is the way, so this is simple product, okay? Now, it is clear in the same way we can move on to the next kind of product that is scalar or dot product so the second kind of product uh, here we can write down a scalar a scalar or dot product okay so here uh, two vectors and uh, this can be now you see it can be written as vector a if a is the one vector and b is another vector then a dot b can be written as a b and uh, cos theta a b cos theta 
So what is this AB cos theta? For example, here if I am taking one vector B, okay, this is vector B and this is vector A. Then there is the angle in between these two vectors. So that angle is theta. And if you write on subscript AB, so then that subscript it shows that uh, it is uh, the angle in between the vector A and B. Okay. So this is the dot product. And uh, how we get this is the you know simply uh, you can uh, get the projection of A along how we get this product means how we get the dot product or the scalar product that we get by using the projection. For example, if you project here so now this one so now in this case what it is the value of this one so this this vector this is nothing but what so now you can see how we can uh, convert uh, this in this form so this is right angle triangle so right angle triangle meaning this vector so here if i keep name then it will be better o and uh, here uh, m and this one it is n okay so here O M, O M here and this one it is O M. So cos uh, theta A B we can write on B by H. So B here we have B. So O M, O M, sorry O M and H. H here what we have A. So magnitude I am taking on. So magnitude you have to magnitude of here this side. So O M and magnitude of this O M. So O M is nothing but factor A. And the, that uh, magnitude of that factor A we have to take. Okay. So OM here and this one it is OM. So base and H. So here we can write down A. A we can write down. Or here you can write OM. Okay. And then if we have to find out. Because I already told you. So that uh, the dot product it is nothing but. The product of the factor. The first factor. For example if I am taking this one. B is the first factor. Um, product of the first vector and the projection of the second vector along the first vector. So OM is the projection of that the vector A along the vector B. So this OM is projection. So if we multiply OM and B then we will get what? The dot product or you can say scalar product. So here uh, you can uh, use uh, just like OM at the place of OM what you can write down so here you write down as it is OM and at the place of OM you can write down the magnitude of uh, o vector A so that we can write down A and then OM can be written as A cos theta AB so that's what it is so that is uh, the value of OM so this value this a cos uh, theta a b that's what i'm multiplying with the magnitude of vector b so this is uh, magnitude of b vector this is the first vector if i'm taking and uh, this if i segregate this one then you can say a cos theta b here this one i'm writing okay it means we are multiplying the magnitudes of those two i think uh, it is clear Now, in the same way, in the component form also, you can uh, convert this one. So, how you can uh, do? So, here, if you write down A dot B, and then by using the components of vector along um, axis, you have to take. For example, A can be written as uh, X cap, and then AX plus Y cap, AY, and uh, z cap aj so that's what it is uh, the vector by using uh, the components along the axis then the second one it is uh, b vector so how we can represent that so in the same way so now you can see here it is dot so uh, x cap because x cap bx plus uh, y cap by plus z cap B, Z. Okay. 
and uh, you know from this um, formula or you can say the dot product you can see AB cos so if you have to find out the product of two vectors then uh, you multiply the magnitude of those two vectors and then uh, take the cos and you know the angle in between those two vector or vector components okay so here you can see so wherever xx now you can see x cap dot x cap equals y dot y cap dot y cap equals z cap dot z cap that it will be equals one why because product of you can say magnitude of those two so magnitude meaning if you take the magnitude of whether it is x or y cap or z cap so magnitude it is, it is one so one into one and then after the angle in between those two cos of the angle of in between those two unit vectors so the angle for example uh, here if you have uh, the axis and uh, if you're taking along the x-axis so now x so x means x cap and x cap so the angle in between the x cap and x cap it is zero so cos zero we know one so cos zero here uh, we know that cos zero degree equals one okay so that's why the dot product of these um, unit vectors equals one so here you can write down the value of cos so it is uh, zero so the total value so in bracket if it is so here directly i can write down one then after into one into one so it means one so that what you got and uh, here you can see if it is x x and y so x into y so if you take the dot product of x and x cap and y cap so x cap and uh, y cap and in the same way y cap and z cap and uh, z cap and x cap will be equals zero why because the angle in between x okay x cap and y cap it is 90 degree and cos 90 we have zero so that's why the, the result it will be zero for example magnitude of x cap it will be one here according to this one magnitude of uh, for this one i'm explaining in the same way others you can get Magnitude of this x, uh, x cap it is 1. Then after magnitude of uh, y cap it is 1. Okay. So here the, I'm taking the product. Okay. And then a uh, cos theta AB. So theta means the angle in between uh, x cap and y cap. And that angle here it is 90 degree. Because x cap and y cap. For example if it is x axis and if it is uh, y axis then angle here it is 90 degree. Okay. So 90 degree means uh, cos 90 means 0. So zero. So the result it will become zero. Okay. So this is the reason we have a zero value for x y x cap y cap zero. Okay. Now next thing what you have to do. So now we got that term. Say it was same kind of um, unit vectors. Then in that case the dot product it will be one. And if uh, different, then in that case dot product will be zero. So the same kind of, or you can say, uh, same or similar components of factors can be multiplied. Okay. So now if you break this one, so you break this one. So what it will become from here I'm taking. Okay, from here. So here you can write down x cap ax and uh, then dot x cap bx okay so here in the same way if this one it is going to multiply to this one and uh, this is the first one also going to multiply to third one so now you see x cap and y cap if we multi take the dot product so now dot product we have zero so that's the first one and second one became zero so that's what I'm writing here zero directly and the first one and the third one also means so because xz so not zx now you can see it is zero so that's why it is also zero okay then in the same way you can now in the same way these all are going to cancel means we will get the value zero so remaining thing which we which we will get so remaining thing will be only ax directly I'm writing the result because uh, I think you already 
uh, study to the answers thing. So it is only in the refreshment uh, kind of thing. So that if you don't miss reply, you know, so I'm simply uh, refreshing you all so that you can uh, get to these things. So here you will get AX, BX plus uh, AY, BY plus AZ, BZ. So that's what you will get the dot product. Okay. So that it is the dot product here. So here you can write on A dot B. So this is the value of dot product. Okay. And uh, this dot product it obeys uh, commutative and distributive law. Commutative law meaning here uh, A dot A dot B will be B vector dot A vector. So this is what commutative commutative law and this is commutative property and in the same way distributive property also it obeys. So how we can write down so A vector and then now B C vector. So that we can write down A vector B vector A vector dot C vector. So this is what distributive property. So here you have, and if you have to find out the angle, this so how you can find out the angle, so that also I will explain. So for finding out the angle, what different things so uh, require. So simple, what you need to do simply you bring this one to the left hand side. So now here I think it is clear, so I can erase. Here you can write down cos theta AB equals vector AB. It means the dot product divided by magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of B. And in the same way theta AB equals cos inverse. And then here you can write vector A, then vector B, and then magnitude of A meaning we can get the magnitude of A. So magnitude of A, I will show you here. Okay, here in the right hand side I am showing. So if you find out the dot product of A dot B, so what you will get magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of A. And then after cos 0, because angle in between the, these two vectors A and A, we will get 0. That's why this one will become and this so uh, you will get uh, a square. Clear? So that in this way you can uh, write down here a magnitude of a vector will be equals square root of what a vector dot a vector. It means dot product of those two vectors in the same way. So similarly we can write similarly we can write down b vector so magnitude of b vector equals square root of b vector to b vector dot b vector clear so here it is a vector and uh, sorry a magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector so for uh, magnitude of a vector i can put this value so here i can write down um, a and then uh, for magnitude of uh, b vector i can write uh, b vector dot b vector that much done so by using uh, sorry by using this formula you can get the angle in between the vector a and b okay 
I think uh, it is clear and uh, if it is uh, clear then I can I know we can move on to the next uh, uh, topic that is uh, vector product or the cross product product that is a third kind of uh, multiplication so here this uh, cross product we present like this a cross b vector that we can write uh, in cap then a b sin theta ab so theta ab is the angle in between the vector a and b so here if you take this one it is a vector and uh, this one it is uh, b vector okay so then this one it is theta ab and the cross product of these two it is n cap so what is n cap that is uh, nothing but that is a kind of a unit vector which is normal to this one. So cross product how we get? So this one like this. So cross product. If we, uh, or you can say if we take the fingers from vector B to A, then in that case, if it is A cross B, so here we should write A vector, okay. And here we can write down B vector from A to B. If we do A to B then the normal the cross product of these two vectors uh, cross product it will be perpendicular perpendicular to this one it means it will be uh, normal to this surface of this board okay because vector a and b are in the surface of the board and that product cross product it will be now you can see like this if you go from a to b okay from vector a to b then this uh, uh, thumb of the right hand it is showing the direction of the cross product okay so that's n uh, cap is representing normal vector to the vector a and b vectors okay because this is perpendicular this vector the third vector which we are getting the cross product that is perpendicular to both vector a and b okay And uh, this um, cross product it shows it represents uh, the whole area, this whole area of this path. There is now. Okay, so this whole area. So now if we draw a parallelogram using these two vectors A and B, then this whole area can be represented by this cross uh, product uh, A cross B. Okay. So that is the cross uh, product and then how we calculate by using the uh, components of those two vectors so that also I will explain you. So <coughs> using the components, so if uh, we have uh, components like uh, A cross uh, B, we can write like this, um, write down the components of so X cap AX plus uh, Y cap. Uh, a y plus uh, z cap a z so these are the components of uh, vector a so then cross and we have uh, x cap b x plus y cap b y plus z cap b z okay so now uh, cross product of these two vectors we have to find yeah. So very easy method to find out the cross product it is by using the determinant method. Okay, so how we can find out? It is very easy. So this one we can uh, write down in the determinant form. 
so I will explain if you are not family of IT or if you uh, are aware about that, if not aware then yet I am explaining. So here OI cap and then after Z cap and then the components that you have to write down. So here you can write down AX component of A vector then uh, AY and then AZ. And then in the same way here you can write down now BX, BY and BZ. Okay. Now how to find? So directly, so you take X, you write down X cap and then after inside you uh, neglect from the column and rows of X cap. So column meaning the first column and the first row you have to ignore. So and then multiply these two. So AY and BZ. AY and bz then after minus az and by so that you got the value along x axis then in the same way then plus you have y comp y cap then after you ignore the, this column the second column because uh, the second column is the column of uh, y cap and the first row so these two okay so now here you have to keep the order order meaning after y what it is this z so that z value you have to take first okay so if you take uh, the z value first so what you will get a z okay a z so here you can write down a z a z and then b x so a z and b x means you have to go in the forward direction minus and then after uh, we have bz and ax bz and ax done then uh, the component along the z axis in the same way we can uh, write ignore this column of uh, z cap and this row now again the order order means in the forward means you can say a cycle if you take this one now, so x, y, and z. So if you return here x and here y and then z. So now you see the so anti clockwise how it is moving. So if it is after z, we have x. So we are taking the z, so we have to start from the x. Okay, so from the x. So that's why here we can write down ax and by. And then after uh, bx and minus bx and a y. What now? This cycle you have to keep into your mind. How to do? First, if you are taking uh, this uh, x, then what after this one, what we have y. Then after z. So we take the value of y first. Then after z. Then in the same way again, you can uh, see this one. You can take this one, this two, means first this one, so y and then z. Then if you are taking y, then z, then after x. And if you are taking z cap component, then in that case, the component along the z axis, then after z it is x, after z it is x, so we start from x, and then after we move on to y. So that is the order in which we have to uh, observe things so this is the way how you can uh, find out uh, the cross product okay and uh, I think uh, that it is sufficient and if it is uh, any kind of doubt then you can uh, write down in the comment section I will explain you and whatever doubt so what kind of issues because uh, I'm trying to do the best by which you can get uh, as much as possible from me.